Hi everybody. Okay, we're back to the 100 day project and um, today is day 10 for me. Still a bit behind Rachel and Sarah and yesterday I realised I was trying to do two a day and I was probably maybe overstretching myself a little bit. Uh, well, no, well, not really, but you know, pushing myself a bit to catch up and then I realised, well, what if someone else starts a bit later than me, then... You know, I don't need to hurry to catch up. I can just go at my pace. So, uh, okay, so it's day 10. So the heading from Rachel is tree frogs, which if you watch Rachel's um, YouTube, you will see that someone else suggested tree frogs and I can't remember who it was. Um, so I started to do a little bit of research about frogs and I just thought I'd start to make some things. Now I was thinking, um, I looked up and saw that tree frogs in particular like ferns birds nest ferns and things like that so I found uh, on uh, one of the old um, the websites it's got free uh, pictures from books can't quite remember Sarah help me out Sarah suggested it um, so if you watch Sarah's YouTubes you'll see um, yes it's got all sorts of things plants animals so anyway, I thought I'd make an envelope and I decided I was going to have a little, maybe stick that down after. Let's start with this though. Okay. The old mate glue stick. I hope everyone's going well in their quarantine. It's such a beautiful day here and I had such a lovely walk yesterday in the morning. I haven't had a walk today yet. I've done some yoga. In fact, I only did half a yoga. I realised halfway through I just, my body wasn't up to it. Um, but I got half of it done and that's that matters. And then I spoke to my friend about uh, who's learning how to be a yoga instructor. Now you're all probably imagining, you're probably picturing these felt young girls doing their yoga when I'm talking about doing yoga. And you know what? I'm nearly 60. My friend's in her 50s. We're not small ladies. We're big ladies. But you know what? That doesn't stop us. We're doing it. And we're we're doing it because we love it and it's enjoyable. And I said to her the other day, because I've only ever done yoga in bits and pieces, I haven't really taken it seriously. But, you know, with health and issues and everything, I thought I would. Um, one of my friends is a personal trainer and he suggested a nice, easy, easy yoga to do. And so um, I did it and it was only 20 minutes. And I realised I managed it without any problems. And yes, it hurt. It sure did <laughs> the first time. Yes, I cried. <laughs> but <laughs> but after that, um, I felt really good. And then the next day, I didn't cry. And I felt better. And now I feel really good doing it, so I'm kind of not going to stop. It's, it, I do it for me, I don't do it for anyone else. And uh, yeah, my friend is, um, I don't, know, don't even want to even say she's this size or that size because I feel that's a bit of a judgment or uh, putting her into a bit of a box, but she's not, a, she's not a small lady and she's doing her teacher training. So there you go. How good is that? Good on her. I think. Good luck to her. Um, so that was me this morning. Half a yoga. But I moved from the 20 minute yoga to the uh, 40 minute. But still beginners. <laughs> still beginners yoga. Uh, but tomorrow, today I could only manage the half of the 40 minutes. So I figure it was the equivalent of doing the 20 minute. So I'm, I feel I'm good. 
So I, when I was looking at the frog thing, I I kind of also realised that um, I, d I just kind of like all sorts of frogs. So um, even though it's the category is tree frogs, I think I did my usual trick. Can't be told. Can't be told to do anything. And um, just decided it was just frogs, full stop. <laughs> Just look at that. Look at this beautiful yellow one. He's got yellow on his head. How cute is that? Rachel will think I'm mad, but anyway. Um, there's this little cute frog. Just gonna sit there like that. I like that. Hello little froggy. You remember I was looking when I was looking for the frogs and looking doing some research about where to get some pictures from. I was remembering that time. And do you remember it when you were, you know, when you were at like oh, under 10 maybe and we would go taddying, we would go to catch tadpoles, We'd get tadpoles in a bucket and it was so nice to be near the river and um, oh actually I'm going to stick that behind me. Or not. You know, the, the river and the... Oh, well, I'm just trying to think. It wasn't a river so much. It was more like a creek at the back of our house where I grew up. When I was younger, I grew up... Um, Out near Lilydale, if anyone ever knows that area, uh, in Mount Evelyn, which is out the back near Lilydale, um, and we had a property that had a big, long, slopey backyard. And what happened was, down the bottom of that property, we would have uh, a creaky thingy, creek. Um, Oh, what did I do? Oh, no, that's right. Oh, no, I thought I'd made a mistake and I didn't. No mistakes in art. Just exploration. I was talking too much and not paying attention. There we go. All right. Now, curl this back. Curl it back. Curl back. Um... Is it going to be a side pocket or a top pocket? I like the idea of a side pocket. So that means we're going to glue those two sides down. Yeah, so we used to go taddying down the creek. And we'd get them in the bucket and sometimes you, you know, You'd get a few and you'd hold them for a while and watch them turn into frogs. And now that I'm thinking about that, that actually may have been when I was even younger at the house before that. Like Moorabark, that was, the house before that. I don't need anything on the back of that because that's going to be stuck down. Um, Alright, so it's either going to go that way or that way, and I think I like it that way because your eyes drawn to the frog, whereas when it's here, your eyes drawn to the window. What's going inside? Uh, now that was that was from there. That could actually just be a tag on some card. Oh no, I've got a 
little envelope. I've got another little envelope. I found a little pay slip envelope when I was rummaging around for some of these things. That that'll be. I'll do that in a minute. Right, I've glued that together. I'm going to cut a thingy. Thingy, 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 thingy is my word. If I can get it in there. <laughs> That's a bit of a problem with these big thick ones, isn't it? Oh, maybe I should just do it upside down. Yes, Christina, you can do things differently. Uh, see, I'm lining it up in here, this way. Is that going to be... Ah, how good is that? All right, now I feel like I have got this looking a bit ugly. So, uh, I want one with a strip, don't I? A strip of colour. Um, sorry, just thinking, 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 thinking. Yep, that's good. That'll just fix that bit. Why is my wrist going off? Apparently I've just done enough a lot of steps. Do you know what? I find this funny. The These, when you're doing art, you get so many steps up because your arm's moving all the time. It's actually funny. It's like, it's not, it's not real steps. <laughs> oh. Oh God, I crack myself up sometimes. Okay, what do we need? I forgot to bring over. Um, oh no, I've got some. I've got some. I've got this uh, stays on olive green. Um, and is that the one? Where's the matte thing? Is close. This one will do. Doesn't matter if it's not quite right. Oh, it's dark, isn't it? Well, maybe I don't want it to be dark. I don't want that dark. That's not what I want. Let me find uh, one second. Backwards and forwards. How about we look at Emerald City? Emerald City. Uh, oh, no, I know. That's the colour I really want, that colour. But that is... Dun, dun, dun. One of these distress oxides instead. Um, it's probably this one. Peel paint. That's better. Or is it? Or do I want this colour? Forest moss. Let's see. like a bit of forest moss over there. Yeah, I like that. That gets that good good effect. Just grunge that up a bit. Isn't that a good word, grunge? God. Yesterday I didn't have anything to say and now I'm just waffling on. <laughs> so I'll try and get a bit of that little white of the edges of the envelope pocket window thingy thing out. There we go. All right, forest moss I'm liking. I might stick to that today. 
but who knows who knows what we'll do and damn it Ooh. oh that's a good effect oh well that's not what we're doing now we're doing this yeah. nope. use an envelope I, I actually, these were really old and yucky. Someone had drawn with biro on them and uh, they were just going to be chucked out. So I thought, you know what, I'm using them. Because on the back you can still write. Still writing. You can write on the front. Let's do that. Let's write on it. Let's not, because we can't find the pen. Oh, here it is. <laughs> Frogs. There you go. That's not a frog. I found, I had a toast stall. I drew these. Um... Okay, let's stick the frog on. No, that's not. Um, yes, yeah, so I think that those particular cards I was using a spray oxide, not coffee or tea stained. I was just testing out what happened with my dark, my walnut stain. Um, and I thought that it was a bit blur, but if I'm thinking about frogs and I'm thinking about um, swampy places... I think that it kind of works reasonably well. Reminds me of the swamp. That's too big. I think he's too big too. Maybe we just want this this little one. So this is this this is from the same website that uh, backgrounds were from. I think, if I remember right. have to find it and put it in the link and I think I said I was going to do that yesterday and I didn't. I'll uh, do that. I think that might be alright there but I just actually would like some text and type Here's some Something about ferns. Okay. Going to put this here. the edges
now? Where is he going? There he is. Over here. Over here. I think I like him over here. Okay, there he is. There you go, Froggy. <clears throat> okay, so I would probably um, put these. I don't know if I'll put these in here. I might just for now. I don't know if that's where they'll end up going. Um, they don't even want to go at the moment. Um, yeah. And that can go in my journal. Um, oh yes, so yesterday, day nine, unusual travel, when I was making the little uh, Journey to the Centre of the Earth book, I realised it was all in the book and I actually hadn't put anything to represent it in my journal. So <coughs> as I use the, uh, oh, excuse me, um, the, the fiery um, bit of my alcohol ink from one of my printables, um, I just made another little pocket for here and I used one of the pictures... <laughs> I suppose they're supposed to be like caveman and woolly mammoths that they find in the in the uh, journey to the centre of the earth. They find all this stuff, and so I just made a little card. So this little card for that, and now we're up to frogs. Day ten. Um, now having this here might mean it's better on this side. I think I'm going to take the cards out while I'm. And stick it in. So my books uh, gone from being flat to <laughs> to being very chunky, and I love it. I love it. It's good. Clean my hands a bit. Um, I'm happy with that for my journal, for my personal journal but what I might do there's a little froggy in there you can see in, in there that worked out well uh, is still I've I found this um, I ordered some stamps from someone online and I just saw this that I'd made on vellum and I really liked it um, they came in a little packet like this with the writing and this it was it's I don't know the dates but it's old and I just basically I with with things like this I just copied it I put it in on my scanner copied it to my computer and then printed it out onto vellum so I have bought bought this so I, I figure I've got free reign <laughs> so I decided I'm going to make a pocket. Um, however, this time I'm not going to mess up the, the bottom of the pocket like last time. I'm going to do this, rip that, tear that bit off. And the reason that I thought about this for today was because all the browns and everything in the colouring kind of, you know, they still reminded me a bit of the swampy kind of thing. So I decided it was still, to me, part of the theme. Okay, we're sticking, we're gluing. Do love a bit of vellum, that's for sure. Okay. 
make sure we got enough. a bit too big for this. I might just use the little one. And that'll be uh, a good way for me to remember which is the front. And yeah, but it's just a little pocket, so... Uh, What I need to do is still make a card for it. Okay, so yes, stamps have nothing to do with frogs. But the colouring does. <laughs> in it but I think that might be hard to get out if it goes too far down I know I know that'll be I know we can get that oh, that's good all right that can go over there let's cover this fact actually let's just do this get it good and scrunched thanks Pam from the paper outpost for the uh, tip on scrunching very hard <laughs> and, um, going this way that way <laughs> I love all these crafting ladies they make me smile they make me happy and they give me a good laugh some days uh, especially at the moment if you get a bit, uh, a bit too stuck in the house it's uh, hard to remember to smile and I know I was talking about yoga before but there's one little bit in the yoga where she goes and just a little smile and if you smile you realize that it actually does actually make a difference I sort of feel a bit uplifted if you're having a sad day I think I'm talking too much today because I didn't actually meditate I've done the yoga but I only did half and then I didn't meditate calm my brain my overactive brain.
this one might have to have the mushroom. Now that I cut that particular mushroom out, it doesn't actually make me think it blends that better. Um, let's just add a bit of difference. Same paper, just um, distressed and torn, so it's got a bit, a bit of interest. edging. Now Mr. Froggy. Right there. Okay. I think I'd like a flower. do this a bit will it blend oh okay I like that Now I am happy with that, even though that's off the side and the frog's looking the other way, it's collage, doesn't matter. The question is, um, will I just leave it like that and tuck it in to here and then it could have, see it could have those, it's going to get two of those, those two cards there. And leave the frog one in my journal, just one, and I'm going to put these ones in here, and I'm going to put that in the vellum, and there you have it, that's my frog day today. watching hope you enjoyed that